Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to take the online testimonies first. The first one is by Sister D from the United States of America. She's giving this testimony on behalf of a member of her parish. This member fell sick. His health deteriorated to the point that the doctors gave him a 1 to 10% survival chance. However, the pastor in charge of the parish took one of the handkerchiefs on which our Father and the Lord, Daddy Joe, had prayed on at the special Holy Ghost service in March 2022. He placed it on him, and in a wonderful manner, miraculously, this man's health improved. He was moved from the ICU to the general ward, and to the glory of God, he has been discharged. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. The next testimony is from Sister Nene Ediru from Nigeria. She got married in 2008, had been living God for the fruit of the womb. During the 2017 Holy Ghost Congress service, our Father and the Lord gave a word of prophecy. He said, there's a woman whom God has said he will clean up her womb in readiness for God's very special servant. She claimed this word. She had had various IVF procedures. Sister Nene also wrote to Daddy Joe. He replied to the letter, to the glory of God, after 13 years of waiting, 13 years of waiting, God gave Sister Nene and her husband a baby girl in August 2022. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have a testimony from Brother Thomas Ezekiel from Nigeria. During the 2022 November Holy Ghost service, our Father and the Lord, Pastor Iadeboe Daddy Gio, gave a word of knowledge. He said that somebody's blood is, dis is diseased and the only way for survival is fresh blood. Brother Thomas claimed this word because he had been battling with leukemia since 2019. To the glory of God, he is now cancer free no more cancer in his blood completely healed help me praise the lord now this is from sister fumilayo adeyemi again from america she had been having stiffness and acute pain in her neck and her right hand for over six weeks she was taken to the emergency hospital and many tests were carried out. She was given medications. Nothing worked. At the point of surgery, the doctors suggested to her to seek divine intervention. Sister Fumlaya contacted her father and the Lord. He prayed for her. Within just 48 hours, 48 hours, the stiffness disappeared. The hand and neck restored to normal. Help me again. Praise the Lord. From Brother Ade Dotsun Ilori, from the United Kingdom, we have this testimony. During the 2022 Holy Ghost Congress on Friday night service, Daddy asked us to pray for a Christmas gift. He asked for a professional job before the end of 2022. God answered Brother Ade Dotsun. He got a job four days to Christmas and God moved him from a low income earner to an earner of over 
thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds per year. Hallelujah. Sister Christiana Otsuji from Nigeria sent in a testimony during the 2022 Holy Ghost Congress that the GO said, for as many of my daughters who are marriageable age and are yet to marry, you will marry next year. Sister Christiana claimed this word and to the glory of God, she got married in the year 2021, a year after. She is now a missus. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't think you're excited. Praise the Lord. Dikin Olalekon from Nigeria sent in this testimony. He attended the August 2022 convention tagged Perfect Jubilee. He came in depressed because he had been suspended from his job. He went to the extent of writing his will. He thought he was going to die. He came to the camp hoping to die in the presence of God. But God spoke through Daddy Jill when he preached on total restoration. Dikin Olalekon keyed into this and he prayed on the last day of the convention. His job was restored. He was promoted. The man who was ready to die. Let somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the last one for this night from the online testifiers is from Brother Shobowale from Nigeria. In the month of December 2022, his wife woke up in the midnight struggling to breathe. He placed the mantle, the handkerchief on which daddy had prayed at the 2022 Holy Ghost Congress program and she regained her consciousness. She is alive, well, healthy, shouting hallelujah. Let us join him in shouting the loudest ever, hallelujah. Amen. We now have the testifiers who are here and they're ready to give their testimonies. So please give us your name and go straight to your testimony. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Folake Adeniyi. I'm from uh, Region 31, Province 80. And I'm a nurse by profession. I first of all want to ask the Almighty God for forgiveness because I'm supposed to have given this testimony by December during the uh, Holy Ghost uh, Congress this year. So my testimony is this. I came to the camp that Monday with aches and pains all around my flanks and swelling on my legs. And right from the time I gave my life to Jesus, he had told me that he's my doctor. Many times, no drug works for me. When I take drugs, instead of getting well, it makes me to feel very sick, so I stay off drugs. So it was on the uh, third day of the Congress when Daddy ministered on healing virtue and God told him to remind us of a story of a man at uh, Surulere uh, Stadium that had problem with his kidneys. As a nurse, I know I had these problems for some few years and I've been looking onto the face of the Almighty God for healing. Before then, I cried to God when I came to the camp that uh, December, 
And even before daddy came to the to minister, God assured me that he's sending a word as touching my case. And immediately daddy started talking about the man with the kidney issue. I knew he was talking about me. And what I experienced was that all the pains that I was having, having disappeared. Every pain I was having that I came with left my body. The swelling, it was as if I wasn't the one that, you know, came into this place very sick. So I want to thank the almighty Praise God for showing me mercy Lord. and healing me. May his name be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we please have the next testifier? Please just go straight to your testimony after giving us your name so that we don't get confused, so that we can follow you concerning what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Evelyn. I came to testify on behalf of my mother. We are from Lagos Province 63, Region 26, Greater Works Assembly. On the 26th of November, Mama fell ill. She had just little malaria and typhoid, and she was rushed to the hospital for treatment. But three days after the treatment, doctor confirmed that her breath is no longer good, that she needs oxygen. So they passed oxygen into her. That very day, the oxygen wasn't going through again. The doctor beat her chest and confirmed that mama has passed away. So we called families and friends, call our neighbors. So doctor said there's nothing they can do. We should just pay our balance and take mama out of the hospital. That she's already old, she's no longer breathing. So when we were putting mama into the vehicle, she was so cold and heavy. Truly, Mama was not breathing again. So we had to take Mama home, put cuts in wool cover, and we started calling our families. The, our mother is there, though. They should come to our rescue. But we are just for a number, no father. But in the middle of the night, I have to send my brother to the pastor. They'll go to the church. Go, whoever you meet, just tell them that Mama is dead, that they should come to our house. So this boy rushed down to the pastor. On getting there, he said, Pastor gave him anointing oil. And he brought the anointing home, rubbed it all over Mama. So we cried. We even lost hope. I just discovered that in the middle of the night, when I opened my eyes, I saw Mama lay shaking under the wrapper we used in covering her. So I ran to the sitting room to call my siblings that they should come and see Mama when they go to the bedroom. We opened the wrapper, pulled off the cotton wool, and we saw Mama breathing. We screamed. People filled our house the following morning. Even the doctor could not believe that this Mama can survive. The doctor is a Muslim man. He said, which God are we serving? So this Mama can survive. You mean that Mama is alive? We said, yes. Mama is here breathing. I now remember the last verse in Psalm 91 that says, with long life will you satisfy us and show us your salvation. I told God that my mother will not die. She's just 70. She's not yet old. God revived her. The Lord has done this. May his name be praised forever. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank the God of Daddy Adeboye. And I thank the God of my pastor, Pastor Sunday Afalahan. Greater Works Parish. May glory and honor be this show the many people that there is power in redeemed Christian Church of God. Thank you. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. You can go, you can go. Church, pray the Lord. Church, pray the Lord. You can be sitting there and be greeting the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, I am that I am, the Rock of Ages. Praise the Lord. My name is Uche Timothy, a.k.a. Son of Zion. I'm a member of Assemblies of God Church. 2018, I felt sick. I was living in a computer building. Do you cannot to feed myself. 
I felt sick when you're not in blood. I called my pastor and I'm feeling sick. He came, he came and prayed for me. A friend of mine, a member of Redeem, invited me to a church, to a night vision. And I was watching Daddy Gio in the television, in the service that particular day. Daddy Gio gave a prophecy that if you are created for a purpose, you will not die young. If you are created for a purpose, your destiny will come to pass in life. I take that prayer point. I said, God, you created me for a purpose. In the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, you said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all those things shall be added to you. I said, God, I need healing. Because I'm created for, for a purpose. For my father, Daddy Gio, what he said. I said, that thing now, I'm not taking drugs. I'm 100% okay. Today is making me four years. I'm not taking drugs. It's not my power, it's not my strength. I give glory to God. Who made me to be in the land of the living today? Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout a wonderful hallelujah. My name is Joseph Ikemode. I want to thank God for his faithfulness over my life and that of my family. I want to thank God. I'm an accountant by profession. Um, since 2018, I started the journey of my professional exam. I scaled through the first stage, scaled through the skill stage. When I got to the professional stage, there's a particular paper. I wrote it four times. As at 2020, when I wrote it, the first, paper, the first time, I failed. The second time in 2021, I failed. November 2021, I failed it. May 2022, I failed it, making four times. And the devil looked at me and said, Oshie Kini, Olule. Oshie Keji, Olule. Oshie Keta, Olule. The devil laughed at me, Otu Shekeni, Olule. But I held on to the God of the Green Church of God. During the last convention, I came to camp. And um, during, one, during the week, that the GO gave a word of prophecy that God said there's somebody here that the last time you ever failed the exam was going to be the last time you will fail the exam. I jumped up with excitement. And then, during the last uh, Mabuja Special Legal Service, I attended also, that the GO gave a word, a word of knowledge and said, God said, before Christmas, you, he, he was going to give you a new garment. I claimed that too. To the glory of the Lord, I sat down for the November 2022 diet, and to the glory of the Lord, and to the shame of the devil, I got my certification. I just want to give God all the glory. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. I want to bless God for the salvation of my soul. My name is Victor Baila. I want to thank God for my life, what the Lord did to me. 2015, I was introduced to drugs by my friends then. But, and since then, my life has not remained the same. I've been a drug addict for six years. Though 2019, I went to Kadam, Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry. But still yet, set 49, I, I was not free. The devil wanted me so bad. But I want to thank God. I've been to so many places, so many. I've gone to Yaba, Rehab. But I want to bless God for the, what the Lord did to my life last year. This same mountain, this same ground, January 7th, during the fresh air, fresh air Holy Ghost service. I want to bless the name of the Lord for touching my life. After the choir ministered, my life never remained the same. Jesus touched me. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Ezekiel Afolanyo. I'm the regional pastor, Region 21, Ibadan, Oyo State. First of all, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. 
that he saved me and that's what made the difference on the 22nd of december myself and my team went on goa fishing because we have a, we have about 13 locations to visit within those period so we started with those ones that were far away we went to Okumosho, finished we headed for a saying finished at about past two in the afternoon and we were going to Ibora. We left Isai for Ibora. We passed through Adwaaye. And between Adwaaye and Irua Junction, Fulani Esmen bandits ambushed us, blocked the road. The boss ahead of me stopped because some of my staff were there. And then the Takuma I was in stopped and they pointed gun at us. And as soon as my own vehicle got there, the one that stopped the bus ran back to the bush. The one that pointed gun at us, something mysterious, something miraculous happened. He started dancing with the gun in his hand. He was no more in control. He danced, ran the vehicle to the back, still pointing the gun and went away and attack other vehicle coming behind us and i said let's go that's how we escape to the glory of god i want to thank god because he showed us his mercy all of us the six of us by the time we left we got to police uh, checkpoint we stopped you can see that we were frightened but god deliver us. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Amazing God. Yes. Wonderful God. Yes. Awesome God. Yes. God 